Yo, welcome back to the checkup where we talk hoops and hoops only. And we're talking college hoops. It's finally that time. The college season started on Tuesday night and we saw a lot of good draft prospects throughout the night. We know we saw Imani Bates, we saw Jalen Dern, we saw Chet Holmgren. We saw a lot of guys, but none stood out to me more than Paolo Boncaro. You know, I've seen his last name literally get said like in three different ways. So we just gonna stick with that one, all right? But he went out there for Duke and he balled out. He scored 22 points and he showcased skills that are incredible for his size, especially. Now I ain't gonna lie, I was watching. I watched him in high school a little bit, but you know, I didn't really pay attention to him that much. And he's got skills. Like, right now, he is projected to be the number two pick in the NBA draft behind Gonzaga's star center, Shet Holmgren, who we all know. We know who he is. If you don't know who he is and you're a basketball fan, you're living under a rock, my guy. But he put on a show last night as well. I ain't gonna lie. But Paolo looks really good. At 6'10", 250 pounds, he's superstar potential in the NBA. And what really stood out to me was his smoothness handling the ball. His ability to score off the dribble, but also he can bang bodies in the paint as well if he needs to post up. He's got three skills that are tough. Like, that's tough to do, especially at his size. Duke has themselves another special player because Paolo is a player that can play three positions on the court if you really think about it. He can play the small forward. He can definitely play the power forward. That's his main position. And he can really play a small ball center if you need him to. Now, don't get me wrong, he didn't lead Duke in scoring last night. That was Trevor Keels, who's also a pretty solid player. But you can tell the difference on who was the best player on that court. And it wasn't really close. Even with Kentucky's Ty Ty Washington, it wasn't really close. Boncaro made it look way too easy out there. Everyone I've seen so far agrees that Paolo looks like a potential special talent. And if he works on that three, and it becomes a knockdown shot, He definitely has the form to do it because, I mean, look at Giannis. Giannis shoots like, what, 34 around there? If he can, if Paolo, if Paolo can knock down at least 35 or more percent in the NBA from three, that's tough. It's it's a wrap because his skills is crazy. If you really think about it, and it's going to be really close between him and Chet Holmgren for that number one pick. It's not going to be like just some runaway, you know, kind of like Zion was. It's not going to be like that. Boncaro is kind of similar to like a Tobias Harris or Julius Randle. Like, he's similar to those guys. I've heard the comparisons, and I see it. But he's more polished than they were coming out of college. Not only can Paolo score, but he can also pass, which is something that you need to do. If you're a forward and you want to be special, you need to be able to do it. And he can do just that. Coming out of high school, he was the fourth ranked player. And right now, he's projected to be the number two pick in the NBA draft. And it looks like Coach K's last dance is going to have to ride or die with Paolo Boncaro because his talent is special. Like, he, it really is. I didn't think he was that good. Like, I ain't going to lie. I'm a high school. I watch high school basketball here and there, and I keep up with the main guys. And I knew he was, you know, one of the top recruits in his class. But I did not think he was this skilled. I just, watching from afar, I just thought he was another power forward that's just bigger than every other kid. And he was out there probably, you know, banging bodies and dunking and all this other stuff. But I I didn't know he had that bag to, you know, go and between the legs so smoothly and hit a mid-range jump shot right over you. He also, you can clearly tell he has three-point potential. Clearly. He takes the shot with confidence. I mean, it doesn't go in. It hasn't went in so far I've seen in college. It it doesn't look like it's going in like that. But you can tell when he goes to the NBA, it looks like it has potential. He works with the right coaches and gets the shot right. He can be a potential knockdown from three. And right now, if he can do that, he's got that potential superstar potential for whatever team drafts him come June 2022 when that NBA draft comes around. Because make no mistake... Paolo Boncaro is for sure a top three pick in uh, this year's upcoming draft. And like I said, it's Coach K's last season. And I think 
I think they got a shot with him leading the way. Because right now, special talent. Anyways, that's going to do it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Link will be down in the description. This has been The Checkup, where we talk hoops and hoops only. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.